What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. Well guys, since I switched to lithium batteries, my winch has not worked. I have finally landed on a fix and we're going to install it today, so stay tuned. Well, it's done now. Hey guys this is what I got to fix my winch setup so let me run through this with you real quick I got a 12 volt battery here this is a groups 26 size I got it at Walmart for about 50 bucks um, I went the starter route versus the deep cycle route my winch loves high amps so I'm gonna give it starter amps so this should be fine I don't use my winch very much and when I need it it's going to deliver some really good amperage for it so uh, that's what I got here I got a group 24 size battery box it's a little bigger than this um, bigger than I needed but I plan on storing the charger inside the box to keep everything nice and contained and uh, that way I don't have to mount the charger separately it's just my my personal preference I've got the AC port that's going to go on the outside of my cart so that I can plug the electrical cord in to charge it without having to lift my seat and then I've got the uh, 2 amp uh, NOCO Genius 2D 2 amp battery charger and maintainer so this should be perfect for this size battery I am very biased to the NOCO line of uh, battery products uh, because even as you can tell from this box they have very high quality stuff and I have a four bank no code charger in my boat that I absolutely love so when I saw that they made small stuff for batteries um, I jumped on it so let's get this stuff installed and uh, get this winch working again all right guys so this is what I plan on doing say hi to dozer there he's my shop puppy he loves being out here I'm going to take this battery box and just put it right down in the hole there and what I'm going to do is just drill a couple of holes in here through the diamond plate and just mount this down. I don't think it's going to take much to hold that in there. All right, so I just installed a couple of bolts in the corners. I think that's all I need. It's pretty sturdy, and it's not like I'm going to be jumping ramps. So I think it's going to be fine. All right, so I got my battery case mounted to the bottom. I got my battery put in and slid forward. And now I have this gap back here in the back that I need to uh, make sure that I fill in so that my battery doesn't move around inside the case. So I just found an old piece of foam laying around, nice stiff piece, and I'm gonna wedge it down in between there, push it all the way down, and that leaves me a perfect amount of room just to put slide this little charger like this uh, down in there once I get the leads connected to the positive and negative, and then I can run the AC cord out of the lid and to the uh, plug for the uh, AC port, and then I'm gonna drill the hole. I just wanted to do the AC port last so that I knew where my box was going to be, where the cord's going to come in. It's one of those things like when you drill a two inch hole into your seat, you just wanna make sure uh, that you measure twice and drill once, you know what I'm saying? Well, it's done now. All right, I'm all done. I got the AC outlet installed. This is a really nice uh, soft piece of rubber. Seems like it's going to seal up really good um, for pressure washing all around this area. Area has a rubber seal behind it too. So just feels high quality, it's nice. Very pliable. So that's my plug. Comes in the back here. Let me see if you can let me see if you can see that. Comes in back here. It comes around. Oh, he wants to go for a ride. We'll go in a minute. And then um, got my uh, cables coming in, my hot cables, my negatives over here. I've got my uh, battery chargers laying down in there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to plug this in now and see if the battery charger, yep, it came on. It turned green, it goes to on, and then it'll probably come back to red. There you go. Now it's charging. So that is on. And then basically, you know, I'm just gonna put this lid on temporarily, secure it in there. I'll do that later. 
So um, it'll fit nicely over there in that corner. Uh, and that way I'll have my winch back. So let's give it a try. It's all, it's hooked on, it's ready to go. Here's my uh, winch switch right there. Let's see if it comes on. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it's working. Oh man, nice and tight too. All right, so now my winch works. I'm so excited. I've been mulling over this decision for quite some time and I just wasn't sure how I was going to solve this issue. I know many of you have been dealing with the same thing of trying to run a winch off of a 12 volt regulator connected to a lithium battery pack like mine. Um, the, the regulators out there just aren't ready for this market, guys. That's, that's the bottom line. I've burned through two cheap ones. I'm on my third one. It's a, it's a 60 amp uh, regulator. It was about a hundred bucks. Uh, not a lot of money, but it's, 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 uh, it was a hundred bucks and it won't even turn it at all with no load on the winch. You just click, 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 click. So you got to have high dollar 12 volt regulator stuff to run a winch that's going to pull maybe like 150, 180 amps. I've heard that mine pulls up to 180 amps. I don't really know, uh, but I got a starter battery now that's got like 500 cranking amps. So if that baby doesn't get it done, there is nothing that's going to get it done. So uh, we should be good to go. Um, but keep the comments coming. Uh, you can go on my uh, Tesla battery install video, read a lot of comments about 12 volt regulators, some great comments there from subscribers um, that contacted lithium companies, uh, winch companies and everything, got great information from those companies. And pretty much they all concluded that you have to add a separate battery. So uh, long story short, separate battery guys. Um, anyway, hopefully that's helpful. I don't know if this is going to be the end of the video. I'm going to the farm in a couple of days. If I get a chance before I post this video, I'll put some action on the winch. I'll pull some crap out of the woods and I'll let you see how the starter battery works on, on this winch, uh, with my new setup. If I don't get a chance to video anything, this will be the end of the video. If you guys have any questions, give me, uh, leave me some comments. I'll be glad to get back to you. And uh, we'll see you at the next one. Take care and uh, stay safe out there.